What things really make you cringe? My brother-in-law. The way he tries to flirt with anything with a pair of boobs and is two decades younger than he is. Mostly female servers at restaurants. He treats male servers like shit. He tries to touch their hair or their shoulders without permission and makes the lamest jokes that no one ever laughs at except for him. The man hasn't shaved in years and from the smell of it probably doesn't bathe as often as he should either. He smells like dog and burritos. I married his twin brother. I feel like I married the name brand version and his brother is the dollar store version. Self-diagnosed psychopaths. Influencers asking for support during these times. Every time I am in a group of people. I always say the wrong thing and they look at me like I have three heads and a penis growing out of my forehead. When I remember my high school interactions in general. YouTube comment threads that are essentially an endless string of. Who else is listening in 2020? When someone is obviously lying. Recordings of my own voice. The time I was talking too loud at a wedding when I wasn't supposed to and everyone at the wedding turned around to see what asshole wouldn't shut up. Extreme self-delusion. Usually it's funny enough to make up for it. But sometimes it's just so sad to see somebody who can't accept reality. When people make a joke but nobody laughs and it's just quiet. When I remember that I did the. I do have a boyfriend. He just goes to another school. Thing. When people get that mentality of, I am one bad bitch, because they are really just one annoying bitch. Early teen me. So many cringy stuff I did. I hope all of my old friends have forgotten about me. When people post selfies of them crying. No joke. My friend's sister posted crying selfies of her and her kids when they had their dog put to sleep, with the dead dog. Like, um, that's a private moment of grief not a selfie opportunity. Videos of people getting caught in lies. People who post vague status updates on social media. Such as. The most horrible thing just happened to me. Without providing any context. It's a cheap way for people to fish for attention. And it creates unnecessary worry for the people who care about them. Those videos of guys trying really hard to be sexy biting their lips and looking down and brushing their hair back. They make me cringe so hard. My face when I see it on video. I consider myself a good-looking gal. But when I see my face on videos I look absolutely different from what I look in mirrors and pictures whether selfies or that others take. Looking like a damn squirrel fish. Seeing an adult complaint like a child to waiters, cashiers, etc. Coming across some rising issue or unpopular celebrity being posted about on Reddit and someone saying, Reddit do your thing. Like we actually have a huge impact on shit outside the website lol. Saying something in a group and getting dead silence afterwards. Also thinking about the stupid things I've done in past social situations. Also waving back at someone who wasn't waving at you. Also my voice. Also having an idea of what to say in my head but when I speak it just sounds a mess. In a drama performance. I had to blow a kiss into the crowd and accidentally did it to a teacher to by accident and following up I did the. Call me. Hand gestures. Remembering my past. Second-hand embarrassment. It makes me physically ill. Someone obviously showing off at doing something when they're not that good at it really gets to me. The worst is when someone is singing along to a song. But instead of just vibing and singing for their own pleasure. They're looking around to make sure that other people are watching them sing. It's the worst. Just to be clear, doing something badly just because you enjoy it is encouraged. And celebrated. You should see me on a dance floor. It's like an epileptic octopus. It's when the person doing it thinks they're good at it and has that smugness or attitude and is doing it for praise from other people, but they're not actually good at that thing. Watching the auditions for X Factor makes my feel sick. People who always post talk about smoking pot. You smoke that's cool. I used to but Jesus if drugs are your personality you might have a problem. Also TikTok cringe compilations. It's hard to find a good cringe compilation but the TikTok ones are so hard to watch. Any story about someone having a birthday party and no one shows up. It happened to my little brother when we were kids and I've been scarred from it since. People dying, abuse, grief, loss, horror etc. does not elicit the same emotional upset I get when I hear those kind of birthday stories. Edit. Why are you all responding with stories that devastate me man fuck y'all. Edit 2. All of you are upsetting me fuck this. When people film themselves doing something really. Generous. And. Heartfelt. For someone in dire need. E. 
g a homeless person mate give them the money or the food or whatever and get on with your life i cringe at how that person must feel to have a camera or phone shoved in their face while they're accepting someone's shallow charity i'm glad the person in need benefits but i can't bear to watch them guys being overly aggressive at women who are plainly uninterested clickbait youtube thumbnails shared couple facebook accounts specifically where they use in as the middle name folks who read motivational literature and then brag about what outstanding knowledge it contains when i'm getting my hair cut and the clippers get near my right ear the entire right side of my head gets extremely tingly and my back reflexively cringes away it's like asmr on super steroids my dad had to get a shot in his eyeball the other day he was telling me about it over the phone i'm cringing now just rethinking about it people shooting down ideas when they've asked for help it angers me but it also just really makes me uncomfortable a guy sending meme after meme to a chat group and no one responding like ever public proposals videos of people at sporting events eating their boogers horny dudes trying to get a woman's attention while she's shopping or at work women who act drunk after two beers for attention my coworker who told me her last boyfriend told her that her vagina feels like fucking a bowl of macaroni. People who are unnecessarily aggressive because they're insecure. People who overshare for attention on social media. Mainly Instagram. I can't stand someone just talking about themselves to a camera like the entire world needs to know what they are doing every minute of the day. A suburban white kid acting like a gangster cause he listens to rap. When the super rich try to relate to ordinary people. It just comes across as so fake. American office culture. Let's circle back. Bubble up any concerns you might have. Forced camaraderie and laughter at Steve who's a damned dweeb and his unfunny joke that's been honed over many a cup of shitty coffee in the break room because it's just another Monday. Having to stick your hand into the nasty food water that has been sitting in the sink for several days to open the drain and when you remove your hand the pieces of fish and lettuce and dark matter that are stuck to it. People pretending to act dumb to be attractive. Thanks for the gold kind stranger. Just send a private PM to the Gilder and stop ruining good posts. Me talking to my crush. The time I thought I was being mature about sexuality and kept trying to tell my friends that they shouldn't be afraid of masturbation. That everyone does it. And girls do it too. Hey everyone let's all tell our masturbation stories. I was 13 at the time. Oh god. And now I remember the time I somehow managed to bring using saliva as lube for masturbating during a fucking conversation. Why did you make me remember all this? Please end me like I ended my social status in school. It makes me cringe when people cringe at things I find completely normal. Like it makes them seem too uptight or uncomfortable with themselves and then it makes me uncomfortable. Edit. Wow my first award ever. Thanks. Remembering that I liked some of Onision's videos. My trying to pronounce certain English words. That David Miscavige guy who runs Scientology. Watching old recordings of me performing. Kids claiming to be born in the wrong generation. When people gild themselves. When people sneak in the fact that it's their cake day into a comment that has nothing to do with it. People who talk about, oh I am so ugly. When they're literally the most attractive person in the room clearly just so people would compliment them. This doesn't go for looks only but for skills too. When people sing you a happy birthday song. Touching something that shouldn't be where I have my hand. Doesn't matter what it is. And or how it feels. It especially happens if I'm doing the dishes and I touch a large chunk of tomato sauce that wasn't thrown into the food bin. People commenting what they want to do to girls on their gone wild posts. You see people commenting on a girl with her full breakfast out saying. I'd have you dripping like a runny egg sandwich. And it's painful to read. Similar to porn video comments where at least some of them are funny. Scott's Tots. People lying about having a mental illness. My old social media posts and behavior. Watching a sex scene of a movie with your parents. 300 pounds people dressed in military uniforms pretending to be Ghost Recon Army SEALs. People who consider themselves a professional actress, actor when they are TikTok famous. 12 FCKIN year old lil kid swearing. By far the most cringy thing ever. 
when people break bones in videos, and they just stare at it in shock. The frogs that hatch their young in their fucking backs. I'm a teenager, by the way. People who aren't funny and don't realize it. Guilt tripping. I've been around, survived too many narcissists to allow it. Related. Having to witness people continue to fall for narcissistic behavior. Not being able to explain that this perfect friend of yours is actually just a master manipulator. Oh. And Mega Karens. Clout chasers. The sound of metal scraping against metal. I'm a nice person but if you piss me off I'll be your worst nightmare. When people make a scene. For any reason. Especially if I am associated with them right there. Brings on a tidal wave of anxiety and embarrassment. People chewing loudly. Mouth open. While talking. Don't fucking do that. Dirty bathrooms.